Welcome back to my channel. So I'm sorry I haven't filmed in like two weeks or so, but I've had a lot of stuff going on, like doctor's appointments and stuff. So I will get more in depth of all that in just a little bit, but I've just had a lot of stuff going on. I've been trying to clean up the apartment and you know, we've been taking care of both babies and everything. It's just kind of hectic right now so in this video it is a life update um the only time i've done like a life update is probably i think like a few vlogs ago i think and that, that wasn't really like a life update it was just like what was going on with me that day so yeah let's just go ahead and jump right on into this life update okay i am back so the first thing I really want to talk about in this life update, I have them like all written down here on like a piece of paper or whatever because the other phone's in there, but babe. So the first thing I want to talk about is how my incision is doing. My incision is actually doing excellent. Um, just a few weeks ago, I do believe, I went to get up out of bed. When I did, I kind of like ripped it open a little bit so now there's still like a hole on that one corner and it's like draining i can't really explain it and i don't want to show you guys so it's like kind of draining but it's not infected or anything it's just a little red but it's like draining so i'm thinking it's more like clear pus which is a good thing it means it's healing good and my other surgery so on December 2nd I'm going for pre-op and December 5th I am going to be going to get my tubal. If you guys don't know what a tubal is they like uh, it's called liposcoptic if I'm saying it right and what they do is they like cauterize uh, ends of my tubes my fallopian tubes and they take part of it out. So. I'm getting that surgery so I will have no more babies and um, yes I will still come on my period um, sorry if it was like TMI right there but I just wanted to let you guys know that um, so that is December 5th well 2nd and 5th which I might have to reschedule my pre-op for like a day before um, because some other things um, so yeah in the next Basically, the first few things I'm going to talk about is doctor's appointment. Go ahead and get that out of the way. So, the next thing I'm going to talk about is baby boys, doctors. Um, now, as I told you guys in the vlog, when I had him, he was 7 pounds and 11 ounces. Um, I'm having to go back to his pediatrician just about every week because he has lost his birth weight, which that is normal. That is normal. They lose their birth weight and then they gain it right back. But with him, he was 7'11 when he was born, which was 7 pounds and 11 ounces. So, and then he's like lost a bit of ounces. He's still 7 pounds. Um, he just went down a few ounces because the first day we took him after we came home, which was on the 8th, um, he was, I think, 7'6". And then the next week after we took him back, he was 7'5". So he's been going down a few ounces, um, except for Tuesday, the day before yesterday, we took him to the doctor and he was back to 7 pounds, 8 ounces, which is still under his birth weight, but, you know, he's gaining it back. And um, I really didn't say this in the vlog when I had him but we had to switch his formula already three to four times because every time he would eat and after I burp him and everything you know like I was supposed to give him an ounce burp him another ounce and everything every time he would eat <coughs> he would projectile vomit and it was like every time he would eat he would throw up almost a whole ounce or two that he ate and it was really worrying me so I told told his pediatrician which is Brittany Bond um, 
it, he was throwing up and everything. Just It was like projectile. In other words, it was like the exorcist. If you guys know anything about that. Um, so we switched this formula three or four times. Now when he was in the hospital, he was on the Similac. Um, for the immune support. The kind they give you when you have babies. Um, so he was on that. When I left the hospital, they gave me the little cans of Similac to do me until I get to the wake office. And that made him throw up even more. And that kind of like constipated him. So he was constipated for a little while. And then when I took him back to the pediatrician and when I went to the WIC office, they gave him the Gerber Good Start Gel, which was the same kind she was on. Um, and he just, like his body would reject those two kinds of formulas. Um, then about a week ago, I went to the WIC office, not WIC office, but pediatrician, and they changed his formula again, which the formula they give him was the infamil, uh, infant formula AR, which this in here is the one that reduces frequent spit-ups. I mean, it wasn't frequent spit-ups, like the little drizzle out of his mouth or just a little spit-up. I mean, this here was like somebody with morning sickness. It was like completely coming out so they switched him on this and this kind actually has been working um i think the only time he had like a little bit of projectile vomit was the other day and i think he ate a little bit too much so that's the only time he like spit it up really bad with this one um and i got it on the week now because uh Brittany, uh, switched it and had me to call the WIC office or take paper into the WIC office and have me to change it that way. And the only way I can get this kind here in Sandy Hook is go to the pharmacy, have them to order it, use my WIC card, blah, 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 or go to like Walmart or somewhere like that to get this kind because it's not actually sold here in Sandy Hook, which I think actually sucks, but still. Cause I have to go all the way up to the pharmacy or go to Walmart. So that was, I mean, he's doing okay now and everything. And so is she, both babies are doing a okay. And for her, I don't have to take her till sometime in November for her 15 month shots, which she ain't gonna be too happy about that. Cause she never really did like her shots. So and Fido's doing great and everything. Just he's had poison ivy, and we took him to the doctor about that. They gave him a steroid shot in the butt. Uh, then he had an ingrown toenail. We got that removed for him. So he missed last Thursday and Friday, and this Monday and Tuesday. So we've had doctors' excuses for all that. And I don't go back to the doctor until November 13th for my postpartum and then obviously my surgery dates. Um, which, and then the other thing I want to talk to you guys about is Babe's doctors. Babe's had swelling in his legs and everything. So I tell him, I said, you need to go to the ER. He said, I'm not going to the ER. I'll make me a doctor's appointment. So I made him a doctor's appointment on the 15th. So, they put him on water pills and potassium pills. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about this, but they say that he uh, has an enlarged heart and his liver enzymes are up. Um, yeah, up, elevated, same thing. Um, so, he has to go back to the doctors for all that. So, yeah, and the other thing I want to talk to you guys about is work um for those of you that don't know i was on the maternity leave because i took off i was going to take off on the first of this month to start my maternity leave so i can have a few days of you know relaxing and everything because of my surgery date to have baby boy was supposed to be on the fourth you guys know all about that because i did a vlog about that and then on September 30th, I was having a bunch of pain, which I explained all that in the vlog as well. The same vlog that I did when I had him. Um, you guys know all about the pain. So I went to the doctor. He said, well, why don't we just go ahead and 
do the c-section tonight so i was like okay um so i was on the maternity leave ever since september 30th so i'm actually currently going back to work in the morning uh but it's not going to be up here at the library um i'm only going to be at the library once a week which i think is in a way good but in a way it's bad so i'm having to do the 35 hours a week now which i told you guys when i started work it was the 20 hours a week now it went up to the 35 hours a week so basically what i'm going to be doing now is over here in town where the old healthy way was down here by the northeast office by the library if you live in sandy hook or know any place in sandy hook you guys know where that is uh, it's called the soup kitchen now. So I'm having to work down there for 35 hours. Which basically the, um, I went down there today. Told them that you know the food stamps office wanted me to come back to work. Because they was wanting babe to do the 35 hours a week. But he can't work right now. Doctors recommended. So i'm having to do the 35 hours a week which is actually good because for one i'm going back to work two it's easier for me because i'm already halfway through into college and everything which i'll get into that in a little bit um so i didn't really have an appointment i just went in there to talk to the guy that does about ktap and everything so i'm going back to work tomorrow i start I work, um, which I got, actually got my schedule written down here. For the soup kitchen, I work Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And I work 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And every Tuesdays, I'm up here at the library working on GED. Which it's 30 hours of at the soup kitchen and 5 hours of education. So, here is my schedule they give me like a sticky note with my times to come in and sign out or whatever but i did it this way sorry my eyes like got that meant so i wrote it out this way so i can stick it on the fridge or the wall or whatever that's the way it's a lot easier for me to see actually the time or whatever in days so as you guys can see and then obviously Sundays is my day off. That is my only days off unless like if I'm sick, doctor's appointments, some crap like that. So that is this. And with the college, I might have already said this in the vlog when I had baby boy. I'm not too for sure. But I have been accepted into Ashland Community and Technical College. I don't actually start college until either January or March. It's going to be the spring 2020 semester. Which, that's kind of the good thing, kind of the bad thing. Because it's still kind of winter. And then it goes into spring. But, oh well. I'm in college. That's the, <laughs> that's the best thing ever. So, that was the thing about work. And I've also got down on this piece of paper other doctor's appointments, which I've already went over all that. Um, the next thing, uh, you guys know that I got two phones. One is the phone I'm filming on right now because I ain't got no batteries for the camera. So the other phone I film on, which is my minute phone, the one that's got the data and the marking text and call or whatever. The other night, um, I was holding baby boy. On the phone, mom, at the same time, I was sitting in the rocking chair in the living room. I was rocking him to sleep on the phone, mom, at the same time. Plus, I was falling asleep because it was like 2 o'clock in the morning. And I fell asleep a little bit and I dropped the phone. When I did, I busted it. It still works and everything. The screen is just cracked. It ain't got the lines in it or whatever or anything yet. But it is busted when you swipe your finger across the bottom of it to like play a game or whatever or to text you will get kind of cut because i actually did the other day on my thumb so now i'm gonna have to go and pay 23 dollars for a screen on ebay and have dad to fix it for me because babe is is in level 560 
on his block breaking game and I don't want it to lose his place so I'm just going to get a new screen. So the other thing I really want to talk to you guys about is the maintenance on the car. Now you guys know where I was you know doing this work blah 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 with all the stuff like that. Um, they do they give me $1,500 maintenance on the car which I already used 800 of it uh, the first time that I got the maintenance on the car, which was, you know, the wipers, the EGR valve, tires, stuff like that. This other maintenance on the car that they did for us, I think about a week ago, was they put a water pump. What else was it? They put water pump and other things in it because we, for one, didn't have no heat and everything. Um... And we spent antifreeze and everything, and it would get hot. So we'd have to shut it off, wait a few minutes, and turn it back on. So they put a new water pump in it, temperature sensor, and antifreeze, and oil change. Um, which they forgot to do the oil change, so we got to take it back to Bricky's and have them to do the oil change because, yeah, that stuff. With the oil change, it ain't no big deal. Anybody can do an oil change if you work on cars. But, um, or they forgot about it. We just reminded them of it. So, they're going to do the oil change whenever we get time to bring it back in. So, that was everything that was wrong with the car and all that. Next thing I want to talk about is the apartment. Um. Now, with the apartment, you guys know that I had that other gray couch, that one big table in the kitchen, and that one lamp table. I got rid of all that. Um, for one reason, it was too cluttered up. She didn't have much room to crawl around and everything because she is crawling now. I forgot to mention that. Um, she just ain't actually walking it. Um, so, I just got rid of all of it except for that one couch. I got still one lamp table and everything, so everything else is pretty much gone out of here. The apartment is a whole lot cleaner now than what it was. Um, I'm still working on rearranging the bedroom and everything. That's why I'm sitting right here just with this wall because the bedroom's a mess right now for rearranging, obviously. Um, but like I said, I just got rid of that table and stuff because it was getting too cluttered in the living room and she didn't have much room to play. And I felt like everything was right there just in the living room. Didn't have much room to walk. Didn't have much room to sit down when people came over. It just got on my nerves. If you guys know me in person, you guys know I cannot stand a messy place. Except for, you know, obviously the bathroom. It's got to be a mess when you use it. Um, but especially the kitchen. I cannot stand a messy kitchen. Um... So that was that. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is how Fido is doing in school. And amazingly, he is doing excellent in school this year. Um, I think he's only got like maybe one F. And that was because when he missed, he didn't do the work. So I'm helping him with his homework. So he turned in some of that today and now it's back up to Z. So he's actually doing really great in school. Um, he's got a lot of friends and actually some of his friends he said is my subscribers so if you go to school with Fido hello um, or also if you are friends with Fido in school hi um, and that's basically everything that I know that's going on with Fido schooling and everything um, hang on just say yes but that is all I can think of right now except for one thing. It is Thursday, October 31st. So if you celebrate Halloween or whatever, however I was going to say that, happy Halloween. I am taking baby girl trick or treating tonight. Me and Fido is. Uh, we would take little bit, which is baby boy trick or treating, but it's raining. It's too cold for him. And she's already used to being in the cold rain. So... I wasn't going to make her the bride of Chucky, but I didn't have the money to finish getting what I needed for the costume. So I just remember that I had this in her clothes, which 
actual outfit. So she is going to be a little cheerleader tonight for trick or treat. And it's just, I think the Tennessee Titans, I, I guess. And this is 2T, but where it's raining and everything, she ain't just gonna wear it like this, obviously. Um, so I'm gonna put her in some pants, which is just these black pants. It's got the little ruffles on the butt. And then she's gonna wear this jacket right here. No one that don't hardly go to, go together, but it's cold outside. Don't want her getting sick. So, man, if I was going to take her trick or treating tonight. And there's Fido now. So, she's gonna wear this jacket underneath. Well, yeah, underneath. I'm an idiot. Over top of this, and then she's got her little pumpkin to pack along um you know this ain't gonna be enough to put candy in but i'm gonna bring like a bag or something to put in but she can play with this while we're because we're gonna walk um because we ain't got much gas to actually go trick-or-treating so. oh well. you want to say hi to fight out people Oh, <laughs> but this here, she can just play with in the stroller or whatever. So, how about your day at school? Good. Yeah. I seen you turned into things because the grades came up. Mm -hmm. So, that is it for this life update for you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Sorry it was kind of boring and me talking kind of slow. I'm just not really back into the filming thing right now. Yeah, me neither. So. I'm actually going to be streaming over the weekend if I go to AJ's. If he goes to AJ's, you guys heard him. He's going to be streaming. On Fortnite. So, and his channel is always linked in the description box. So, I will try to do a what's in my diaper bag for a little bit. Later on. Maybe this weekend or so. And I will try to get this video up soon so i will see you guys in my next one don't forget to give it a big thumbs up go down and subscribe if you're not already and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys